are new here, it's fantastic to have you. I'm Abigail, the homeschool hippie, and today we are taking a break from my very serious um, Missouri Homeschooling 101 series to do a self-care tag. And I was tagged to do this by Ingrid from Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. I will leave her link down in the description box below, and I believe there's a playlist floating around for this. Maybe, I think so. If so, it'll be in the description box below as well. So today we are going to do the self-care tag. And you guys, um, a lot of you might have noticed that my upload schedule has been a little wonky here lately. And you all know I am big on mental health and being emotionally aware and things like that. I am a long-term sufferer of depression, um, I have a mood disorder, and then I also suffer from anxiety. And so I have to be very, very careful and really honest with myself sometimes about the emotional state that I'm in. I'm also a chronic pain patient, and so I live and deal with chronic pain daily, and that means that sometimes really wears me down emotionally and Ingrid had no idea of this I hadn't mentioned it really to anyone um, but I have been way super struggling and honestly a lot of it boils down to I wasn't taking time out for self-care I am a mama of four I have a special needs daughter who has a brain condition I have a son who has some special considerations and then I have my two youngest daughters one who just turned one. And so I have my hands completely full. We do homeschool. My oldest three are in homeschool. And so taking time out to care for myself is so vital. And I don't know how I got so turned around and I have been missing that little key ingredient to keep me mentally healthy. But Nevertheless, Miss Ingrid shared the self-care tag just as I was taking time out to be really brutally honest with myself about where I was and why I have just been so blah lately, especially when spring is usually a very exciting and happy time for me because we're getting out of that seasonal depression um, time and kind of warmer weather, longer days, more outside time, which my kids and I adore, and so... I just needed to take some time to be honest with myself and as I was kind of having this self-talk and being really honest, Ingrid actually sent out a message that she was tagging me and a couple of other mamas to do this self-care tag. And so I realized that this was a sign from the universe, from God, whatever you would like to say. And so I'm going to take some time to do some deep reflection with you guys here about self-care and my plans and how I typically cope with my mental illness. And um, appropriately, my husband went to the Missouri CIT conference. If you guys missed his men's mental health talk, I'll leave an I card up above. And he brought me home this shirt, which talks about crisis intervention for mental health patients here in our state. And so I'm super stoked that I get to wear this shirt and I'm going to do this tag with you guys. So let's dive in. Um, very first thing, I want to read Ingrid's description that she put into her video because I think that this is really important and this is a really beautiful thing for us all to come together and talk about. And this says, this is my description. We have our homeschool routine, morning basket ideas, meal planning routine, but what about our self-care routine? I challenge you to share your self-care routine. What do you do to find some time? If you don't have one or make time for yourself for self-care here or some provoking self-reflection questions to help you get started on making a self-care routine. And you guys, I wanna open this invitation. I love comments. I know that several YouTubers comments are disabled Mine, I personally disabled on a few videos, but this will not be one. So please share with me how you manage your self-care or what your self-care routine looks like down in the comment section so that we can have an open-ended chat about it. I would love to talk to all of you. So question one, do you set aside time to do things that you enjoy? And 
like I was mentioning, I've had a terrible time just taking my time and setting that aside for me and not being someone's mom in that very minute or someone's wife in that very minute, just being me. But typically that time looks like exercise time or reflection time and that's typically in the morning and then I typically have um, my care time for my marriage in the evening. Um, not something my husband and I have worked really hard to set up because when I take self-care time and we take self-care time for our marriage, both of us are healthier and stronger. When was the last time you had a makeover? The last time I had a makeover was when I went and got this beautiful, gorgeous hair done. Um, Victoria from Dinner at the McGill's helped me choose it um, as my 100 subscriber woohoo um, celebration. And so I have not had a makeover in a while, but I have been talking to my husband and you guys should like this video and tell him below that when I meet my goal for my self-care routine and I meet my goal for my fitness that I'm trying to get back into, that he should let me get my hair done the way I want to because it's going to be epic. Um, question number three. In the last three days, have you taken a nature walk? Um, I have not taken a nature walk by myself. I do see the importance in that, however, I prefer to do a spin bike, a stationary bike, or a treadmill, and then I do nature walks with my kids. Um, so while I see the importance and I understand the importance of a nature walk, that is something I do with my kids every day as long as the weather permits because I see that it's also important for them and we have a really good time doing that as a family. That's not something I personally enjoy doing by myself. Question number four, when was the last time you journaled? I actually journaled a few days ago, I want to say Monday, it was Sunday or Monday, um, Joyful Chaos Mama shared a Joyful Chaos Mama shared a video about celebrating Purim, I might say that wrong, and I did, I watched her video and then I did some Bible journaling on that Jewish holiday and the story of Esther. And so that's kind of the journaling that I do. I also do a gratitude journal and things that I am thankful for to keep my positive, happy, thankful self in check. It is a wonderful journal. I will leave it linked down below as well. I think it was five bucks on Amazon. Um, what three words describe you best? You guys, this is a hard one for me because when I think of what three words describe me best, I literally think in order, very first, wife, mom, teacher. <laughs> um, but if I take away the kids and I take away my husband and I think about what just is me, I really have a hard time of thinking of positive words and that is some negative self-talk that I picked up along the way and so I have to really remind myself that I am a really awesome person and that I have a beautiful soul and that I try to be a positive life and a positive life. I have to remind myself that I try my hardest to be a positive light to others to be grateful and to also just be down to earth and accepting and non-judgmental. And those are things that I know when I work hard and I'm giving myself the self-care that I deserve, I know those things about myself. But when I'm lacking, like I have been here lately, I have a really hard time coming up with those positive words. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, I can't think of three words, take the time out give yourself some self-care, to give yourself the mental break and the mental love that you deserve. And I'm confident that you will be able to come up with a few words. Number seven, do you have nagging thoughts you need to address and how do you deal with those thoughts? As an anxiety sufferer, um, I have nagging thoughts all the time. They're constantly buzzing around in my head. And the way that I deal with those thoughts is Good self-care, first and foremost. Second, I meditate. Um, I like to try to take 
five or ten minutes a day to just lay in silence, have quiet, quiet my mind. And that's very refreshing for my soul uh, because when I come out of that, those thoughts are quieted and I can really say to myself that I am a pretty awesome person and that I'm doing my best and that that's the best that I can do. If I'm giving my all and I'm giving my 100%, then those nagging thoughts, they're not really important because I did my best and that's what matters. Question number eight, how much personal time do you need to each week to function well and feel happy? So, I am trying to get back into exercising, but I know that if I give myself 30 to 45 minutes a day of good physical exercise, that doesn't really weigh me down in the pain department, that is everything. Like, that's all I would need. Um, I do like to take the time to do my gratitude journal and my Bibling journal and to meditate and those things are very important and they do also help keep me going. But I would say I need about an hour a day. I need quiet time. I need time to reflect and journal to quiet those nagging thoughts and to feed my body physically with what it needs to be healthy and strong. And that is something that I'm working with my healthcare team very hard on. I did just order a spin mic and I will be showing that to you guys and showing you guys my wonderful shoes um, and I'm so excited about that so please send me happy healthy um, prayers that this doesn't put my pain into overdrive and I'm not able to do it because I live for physical exercise and I live for that hour a day where it's quiet and I can exercise and I can do all the things I need to physically and mentally to get out the toxic, nasty self-talk, the nagging thoughts and things like that. So to answer the question, I really need about an hour a day. Okay, how do you sabotage yourself? Negative self-talk, 100%. I don't know exactly where I picked that up from. Um, I wanna say it was Probably as a teenager, I had a lot of struggles, um, and I might be willing to do a movie on that. I might be willing to do a video on that at some point. Um, I'm not comfortable yet. 10. What are my favorite ways to take care of myself emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? Emotionally, I love to receive my love language. Um, my love language is definitely just being in the same area as the people I love and also acts of service. So when my kids do something for me that is like clean the living room or help do the dishes or my husband does it, those things really help me feel very emotionally secure. I also like to give myself positive self-talk. I know that I just said that's my biggest sabotage, but I like to tell myself three things that I love about myself or that I did great every night. I do it every night and do it every morning. Three things that I love about myself and, and or that I have done during the day or I intend to do during the day that make me feel like a great person. Um, mentally I take my medication and I know some people are gonna be like well how that what a, what do you mean like that's how you take care of yourself mentally but you guys I have went without medication I've used other coping mechanisms and when I had those alternative coping mechanisms that was my mental care that was how I helped myself mentally um, but I'm a mental illness patient and so right now those coping skills aren't doing enough for me and some of them aren't available. And so the best mental care that I can give myself is to wake up every day and take my medication. I have no issue with telling you guys that. I am very pro if you need medication, take it. I want to be healthy and I want to be 
mentally well to take care of my little people and to take care of myself and to take care of my husband. And so that's the best thing that I can do for myself mentally. Spiritually, I love to meditate. I love to pray. I like to Bible journal. And all of those things coming together make me a make me feel like I am taking care of myself. And so with that, that is the end of this tag. I know that I have rambled on some of these, but like I said, I wanted to just be honest and raw with you guys. And I'm probably not even going to edit this video. I think I recorded question two twice, so I'm probably going to take it out. But this is probably going to be a one take because I want you guys to know that I'm being real, I'm being raw, and I want to help support you as well. Like, if you have questions, if you're struggling with something, if you need prayer over something, please leave it in the comments below. I am happy to do those things for you. I am happy to discuss with you. And I hope that this motivates you to take a look at yourself and answer these 10 questions, which I will leave in the description box. And just let me know what whatever you want to say in the comment box below but if you need a private message me to talk that's okay too i'm totally open to that um i just hope that this video and this tag that ingrid started will help other people reflect as well i am going to tag my beautiful wellness ally joey from the pregnant doula um, i know that she will be down to do this tag and she is another beautiful soul here in the youtube community and in the mental health community as well so please go check out ingrid's channel please check out joey's channel i know she's going to do this tag um i'm not sure when she'll get it up but i know she'll, she's going to be willing to do this and do some reflection with you guys too I have obviously rambled way longer than I intended to, and I hope that this video brightens your day. I will catch you guys in the next one. And I hope this video brightens your day. Peace, love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.